Special shout out to my amazing members and patrons for your support. They are Samadina, Matthew, Lucky Charms, Rick, Himuri, Shalin Kili, I'm Beast, Madlow, Yumi, Killer Bunny 264, Justin Rice, MDF 84ZA, Aussie Bozzy, Kono 76, Beloka, Jelly Beams, UK's Reaper, Krabian, Zareel, Furious Rams, Nathan V, Onokian, and Amy. Instead of becoming a patron, if you also want to go above and beyond in supporting the channel, Hey everyone and welcome back to War of the Walkers mod. So even though we have this awesome building over here and we've looted the stupid store over there, we also have to go and loot or just explore the rest of the town over here. Even though that is happening, I'm actually thinking, oh my water's low. I'm actually thinking of trying to find the desert. Now, you can actually go into, uh, when you search on your PC, uh, percentage app data percentage, it's going to actually pop up this. I'm going to show you guys this quickly. So we're going to go into Discord view do this so it's basically going to give you roaming like this you go into 7SRI generated worlds at the moment we only have this one on the pc biomes this is what the map looks like now last time i started i think i was over here with bob i think i'm currently more or less over here with this city so this over here is obviously there we could go and live in the middle between the the no the desert and the wasteland like it's in between but that's still like about a kilometer that you have to go over there so if we can get the snow, like we can actually mark that out. We might actually be able to live right there in the middle. It's the best of all the worlds. But for now, I'm actually really considering living over here. Or if like, for example, right there. If there's a city right here, we can live here. And then we can actually just go on the border and go to the wasteland over there. Um, I just want to make sure this time around, we actually have like a real challenge. And it's going to be a little bit more fun as well. Okay. We do still have the concussion, unfortunately, that we're suffering from. Uh, these flares. You left click them on the floor, right? No, you right click them. That's it. Last time I right clicked and then left clicked and that sets that just set fire to the place. So you have to be really careful with how you use these flares. Ready to have a level 5. You just right click it. And they fall over here somewhere. And store box. Ooh, ammo. Not bad. That was really not bad at all. Oh, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? I think last time it started a fire. Um, it either, well, I think it definitely starts a fire. Oh, yes. Yes, we just got an AR in the shotgun. And it's one of the good shotguns. But yeah, I think you have to be careful with these because they can start fires. Even if you just right-click, you don't left-click. It can start a fire. Uh, but you just have to make sure you have something to put it out with. Treasure map, not bad. Okay, this is not bad at all. I thought last time it only started a fire because I right-clicked as well. I right-clicked and then left-clicked. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, scrap iron hammer, so that is for repairs and stuff. Now we don't need the stone hammer anymore. I just need to remember that I have the scrap iron hammer. Yes. Okay, so this is really, really good right now. We need more of these flares. So being, well, that means we need to go for more. Oh, crap. <laughs> I just lost my bedroll. Uh, we need to see if we can't go for more tool stores. If we can get more tool flares. Oh, man, that's going to be awesome. I think there is actually a tool store, unless I'm thinking of different town. There's a tool store over here somewhere. But yeah, let's just first see if we can't find the far uh, the desert. I'm actually really hoping we get a custom War of the Walkers uh, town. That that's what I'm really hoping for right now. Ammo we're gonna keep. I think we have to kill two more zombies with that one. Tools go in there. Shotgun. Uh, shotgun. <laughs> shotgun, I'm definitely gonna keep on me. And then shotgun ammo. Lock two. Do we have any 762s? Yeah, we do, but that's fine. This one, if I'm not mistaken, uses nine more, right? No, 762. I think in Darkest Falls is used nine more. I always get confused because in one of them you can use one and the other one you can't. Okay, and then this treasure map I'm going to save for now. I'm only going to go and read that when it's time, uh, when we actually settle down in our town, the town where we really, really want. Otherwise, it's not going to be worth it. Okay, we need more boxes over here. Do I have another chest? I'll put that one over there. I need a little bit more space right now. Resources. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so now all we have to do is go and explore a bit, and then hopefully we come across what we need. Trick or treat, I'm not going to use right now. That can be good, can be bad. I'm not going to take a chance. Okay, so we have some similar... Yeah, now we just have a ton of ammo. Nice. The, the biggest thing right now, the good thing is the shotgun over there. The pipe rifle obviously is good, but the shotgun itself, we can actually take down like real proper enemies this way. Okay, we're going to take a bike. We're going to go down this way. And see if we can't find ourselves a desert. I'm really, really hoping it's not too far away. Um, because also, we have so much loot, uh, we won't be able to make it back and forth that easily. I have one lockpick left. Oh, hello. I can actually see with the one lockpick I have left, 
or the only lockpick I do have. Where I can open up all of these over here. There you go. Nice. Easy enough. I have to be careful not to break them though. It's super easy to break a lockpick. And since we don't have that many, we only have this one. If I can make myself a workbench, but we need more mechanical parts. Oh yeah, we do have a screwdriver. I think we have a, a scrap screwdriver or something. I need to go and range a few vehicles, get a few mechanical parts. And then I'll be able to go and make myself a workbench. Once we have the workbench, we need mechanical parts and forged iron. And we'll be able to make ourselves lockpicks. Nice. Not bad. I mean, not the greatest, but not bad. I still want to go and break these down because we're going to get some ammo parts from that. Put a torch over here. Okay, please tell me I can break these open before the lockpick breaks. I don't know if the damage accumulates. Or if you're able to actually use the same lockpick indefinitely as long as you don't do too much damage to it. I have to be so careful. Please give me more lockpicks. My luck's gonna run out soon and then I have a problem. You literally just tap spacebar. If you accidentally hold it down too long, this, uh, the lockpick can break really easily. No! Oh, that was so close. Oh, did that open up just now? What just happened? Oh! I think it was like a millimeter wave. Oh, damn, that was unlucky. That was really, really close just now. I was almost able to unlock that one. We still have to unlock these two over here, but unfortunately we are out now. Oh, water. I keep saying I have to drink water, and then I don't drink the water. Well, that's going to fill me up very nicely. 70 water right there. I was standing on the roof saying, oh, I need to drink my water, and then I still don't drink it. Okay, let me just put all this stuff away for now. I didn't get anything else that's really important right now, right? Ooh. Perhaps this. The knife, level 3. I'll swap it out with level 4. I want to put all of this stuff away quickly, and then we have to go and... See if we can't find that desert. We have to be careful though because uh, there will or might be some NPCs and bandits and stuff that have weapons. Especially if they have long range weapons, we have to be so, so, so careful. Okay. I should probably take a few things with me that I can sell as well, like leg armor. I'm never going to use them. No point in keeping it with me. Okay. Since this is War of the Walkers, I just want to actually check something quickly. I know that these vending machines over here are technically the other two traders that used to be in 820 uh, itself. There used to be like a guy and a dude, uh, guy, a guy and a girl that sells ammo and resources and stuff. They've been removed. Uh, could get the XP, that's only 2.8k, but uh, yeah, well, hum. if I take this and then take the XP, it's really going to help. I need to come check here every now and then as well because it's really important. I'm going to take about 16 of that. I think that's all we need to be able to make ourselves a workbench. But I'm not going to go back to the base. I'm literally just going to go straight on to where we need to be right now. Yep, yeah, so the two over there, you can either get like uh, ammo or the other one can give you like uh, points and skill books and XP and stuff. But for now, we're just going to keep on focusing on getting this town done. I need another town. I need more challenge. Or at least another biome. Okay, I think that road just leads all the way west. And this one over here, there's a slight outpost looking thingy over here. I do see the desert in the background over there. And then every time I see a chicken, I need to try and drive over it. I'm not going to stop and waste an arrow. You literally just stop, you drive over the chicken and actually count. Oh! Trader Gen. Hello, Trader Gen. Yes! Okay, yes, we just found a custom... Oh, well, this is a custom trader in the middle of nowhere, but still. Oh, it's a shame we have no lockpicks. I'm really going to need lockpicks over here. I hope we have enough cash for this as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's weird. Usually there's like a wolf or something over here. But this is the first time I think that I found this BO, uh, this trader, this BOI, um, when it was not the wasteland. Or the, the desert. Usually it's in the desert and there's like coyotes and wolves and stuff just walking all over here. Hello, hello, hello trader you. Or zombie you. It's a shame that the traders are... Claimed because this, come on, this would have been some awesome loot. There's so much of it as well. I wonder if it's because of this is a road to the desert that we're getting so many trader U's of here. Although technically that looks like a frozen zombie. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, there's no zombies and stuff of here, right? Oh, the problem we have right now is we don't have lockpicks. 
There's book and stu books and stuff over here, but we need lockpicks to open up these doors. Uh, I can't remember if there might be a switch somewhere. Should we have to actually just keep our eyes open? It might be that you have to go through a certain door, open a switch, open a switch, open a switch, but I don't see any switches down here. And all of these are locked. If I can buy some lockpicks from this trade, I'm instantly doing it. Oh, hello. And it's now unlocked? Nope, still locked. I just turned on the lights over here. That's kind of cool. If you could actually live inside this trader, that would have made so much sense. Okay, there's a dude with an AK outside. Well, that might actually be an AR. Oh, I just remembered we can go through one blocks. One by one blocks. So basically over here, uh, there's a wind. Oh, no, you can't. Because of that, it's blocking the one block. Damn, I want to be able to crawl in there and get all this stuff. There is a way in, you just have to have a, lo uh, a lockpick. You can lockpick this door and you can go loot all that stuff inside. There's weapons crates, ammo, guns. There's so much in there. And a ton of vending machines, it seems. Nice. Dude, this would be a really cool, like, um, team base. Multiplayer base. That dude's still outside. These are the two vending machines instead. Oh, no, these are just playing vending, player vending machines. If you're, Please, uh, lady, tell me you have weather, some lockpicks. I've got just what the doctor ordered. Lock. Nope. If I can, okay, I should probably go back to the base, make myself some, uh, make myself the workbench, and with that, make some lockpicks. Because I desperately need that lockpick right now. Although, can I make a light? Flashlight? Nope. Hunting helmet? Nope. Okay, so unfortunately, there's nothing really that we need over here. Other than lockpicks, that's all we really, 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 really need right now. Thank I'm gonna have to so mark much. a base as well. Come again. It just turns the lights on and off. Can I not get inside of it? It says unlocked. Wait. Oh, this just leads outside again. I want to be open, uh, able to open up these doors over here, man. See, these are ins uh, instead of the two traders. You can buy some stuff over here. Nothing that we really need right now. The books over there will definitely need. Okay, so we definitely have to go back to the base. Oh! Oh, hello, hello, hello! Two M60s! Uh, interested in hiring you. Yeah, I'm gonna waste all my cash now. Oh, I don't have enough cash. Oh, I don't have enough cash for him. That's unfortunate. Okay, I'm gonna mark this as Trader Gen or Awesome. Or Trader Safes. Save, not saves, safes. I need lockpicks right now. <laughs> I'm gonna keep coming across really awesome pure eyes. And I won't be able to uh, do any lockpicking because I still need the lockpicks. At least now we know this is yes, that's awesome. Was I going this way? Well, I think you can go this way as well because I saw something there too. The problem is I don't know if there's gonna be a town that side or that side. While I was driving over there earlier, I saw that there over there's the uh, the hills, the desert hills. Okay, I should probably quickly eat and drink. Okay, let's quickly fill up as well before we keep on going. My food and water is uh, very, very low. Um, the reason my water is so low is I took a painkiller to get rid of my concussion. But because of that, now we are a little bit low when it comes to water. Two food and water, nice. Okay, just two more drinks, then we have to go and actually go and loot or explore the desert. Huh. I think this is a prison. It's either another trader or... Yeah, it's an outpost. It's another outpost prison thingy. Okay, so the fact that I can see the snow over here. We definitely took a view at the map uh, earlier as well. So now we... Oh, hello, small lady. Uh, yeah, so we know more or less how the lab, map is laid out. The fact that I'm seeing the snow over here means the corner where the snow... Yeah, look at that. That's forest over there. So this is where the two meet. So we're basically just in the bottom part of the desert store. Uh, if I go keep going left, I should be able to come across a nice town. I don't want to go too far into the town itself though, unfortunately, because um, I, I'll then have to go across the snow just to be able to get to the wasteland later. So what I'm going to do instead is... Let me just see what your eyes are here. And also we have to keep our eyes open for those loots on the floor. They've been actually greatly reduced, but that doesn't mean they're not there at all anymore. You see, that's where the snow and the desert and everything touches. So if we just follow this line over here... Oopsie. If we keep following this line over here, where the two meet, we'll be able to go straight into the wasteland. 
This is just dirt now, right? Yeah. Used to be a ton of resources. These used to be all over and you'd get so much ammo in there. Or so, so much resources you can sell and get rich. But that's been completely removed now. Hmm, prison. Might be worth looting. For now though, I'm, just, I'm interested in just seeing what's where. There's another trader gen over there. Hello, hello, hello. The more gens we have on the map, guys, there are so many rooms and boxes and weapon piles and stuff inside her base. So as long as we can actually have it on the map, later we can just come back when we have the lockpicks and just open them up. But I need to make sure we have these on the map now so I don't forget about them. It's easy enough to mark them, but if you actually go close enough and it says on the map a gen, then it's way easier. This is another gen over here. Once again, if I can just get those lockpicks. Oh, you know what? Uh, how much cash do I have left? 2.2. She might have a mining helmet light. Or uh, a light mod. Hopefully by now you guys know that if I say mining helmet light, what I mean by that is the, the light, the light mod that goes on everything. That's just lights. I want to be able to unlock these doors, but I don't think you can without lockpicks. Okay, hello my dear. Please tell me you have what I want. I am so glad to see your face. I get lonely sitting by myself all day. Nope, no lockpick. Damn it. I'm definitely gonna have to go back to the base and make some. Which isn't that difficult. I mean, uh, at least we have these on the map now, so we can more or less know where to go. The R base is right there. I saw the snow over here somewhere. So basically, if we keep on going a little bit up, the snow starts over here. It goes all the way across and over here is the wasteland. But for now, my biggest goal is just finding a proper desert town. Oh, well. Wait, are these enemies? National Guardsmen? Soldier. Okay, enemies. Is that an enemy? I hear an AK over there. It might be enemy, might be ally. We have to be careful. It's a shame. This is not my... Wait, is that mine over there? Where's my guard? Oh, crap. I'm stuck. Mm, that was not good. Is that mine? Where's my guard? I can't tell whether that's mine or not. I'm gonna have to pick it up again. Oh, that was mine. I'm gonna pick it up again and then put it down back again because for some reason that seems bugged again. It's a lot of agains, but just know I have to pick it up, put it down. There are so many more of these nodes now, but now that they're just dirt, I don't know if there's like a hidden compartment underneath. But they used to be just fully um, resources. Gold, silver, diamonds. And because they were all over the map, if you had a proper tool and you can just go for them, you got so much cash. Okay, this... I don't know if there's going to be a town over here. This feels like just the desert. There's nothing out here. I really don't feel like going to live in the snow biome. That's the toughest biome, or second toughest biome. And it's very cold over there. I mean, probably as long as we have jackets and stuff, it shouldn't be too bad. But still, I want to see if we can't find like a proper town over here. I think if there's a castle, it's most likely going to be here in the desert biome than in the snow biome. Okay, this is a little bizarre. Um, I see traders all over, but I see no other buildings. No towns, no cities, nothing. Let me just do this. Those dogs are barking again. Here's one of my aunt and uncle's boss's dog is also here with their dogs. And he barks and moans all the damn time. He never shuts up. Their dogs, at least if they think they heard their mom and dad, then they start going crazy. Wait, what? I never know what goes like for what. Okay, please tell you. me you have the mod for us, at least. Or some lockpicks. If I could just buy five lockpicks, that should be enough to open up everything I want to open up. Okay, if, uh, I do always go for light armor, but if I can get some uh, military gear, we're going to put that on. It doesn't really help with stealth too much, but it can take way more of a punch. Okay, not bad, not bad. Most of the stuff I'm just going to sell back to you, though. See, if I had a lockpick, we can open up the safe over here and sell his own stuff back to him. Okay, so let us see, let us see. Um, go for lock pick. Nope. Go for light. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Sell these back to him. 
Uh, I need to make sure I don't accidentally sell my own stuff back. We never use the burst nod, never use that one. This I can put on my spear or something to make sure we can do more hits. Level 5 compared to level 4, nice. Okay, these we can just scrap and then sell. So we have 2.6 left. Unfortunately, like I said, you don't have any lockpicks over here. I really need those lockpicks right now. I can't believe it's so difficult to actually finding those. Well, good luck with that. Uh, do you have some coffee? I need to be able to just get a little more stamina going. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Oh, is that so? How about no? Okay, this one. Let me just. Uh, damn it. Oh, that's all I wanted to do. Make sure I have the best one on. Modify is A, and then put the mining helmet on. Scrap. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Hopefully I'm not scrapping something that's not supposed to be scrapped. Sometimes I push scrap, and then it takes, it, there's a slight delay as well. I think I just scrapped the wrong thing. Where is that blue? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I scrapped the wrong uh, bow. I could have sworn I scrapped only one blue, one of the blue ones, and I, le I left the other one alone. But that does not seem to be the case. Okay, so now we can do more power attacks. We don't have to worry about stamina too much. That one already has that on. Modify. Font. Okay. So we're just going to keep on going. We're going to uh, just explore a bit more. Make sure that we loot these over here for the books. There's bound to be one of the other workstations over here as well. We have the workbench. We have the forge. Where is the... Oh, hello. Uh, where's the concrete mixer and the chem station? Or is there only a small, slight chance of having both? At least now we have a light mod, so we don't even have to carry around this anymore. Okay, that seems to be it over here. It's just bizarre. So far, we've only come across, like, small outposts. Look at that. Small, small, small. There's nothing really in here. I'm gonna keep exploring the desert just in case. I mean, it's going to be nighttime anyway, so we can keep just exploring, keep driving, and then just see how far we can get. But it's a shame, but oh, uh, is there any coffee out here? I don't think you sell coffee. Oh, wow, look at that. 21,000 for some XP. <laughs> That's a little bit much. Just a little bit. If I'm not mistaken, we came from... ...behind us, so we have to keep going over here. That leads to the snow. That should lead to a city. I'm going to keep on going until we actually hit like the snow and then we're going to turn around. This way I can just explore the whole place. If I can see more or less if there's a big city over here or not, we can just keep going and then move later. But it does not seem like there's going to be an actual base over here. Is that an enemy? Yep, that's an enemy. It's pipe rifles and stuff that I'm being shot with. Okay, but yeah, um, so far I've seen uh, a lot of small outposts and stuff, but I doubt there's going to be actual bases out here. If there's no city, there's no city. We'll stay in our uh, forest biome. But at the same time, at least then we can uh, we can just confirm there's nothing out here. I think that would have definitely le uh, led to the snow biome over there. Okay, I'm going to have to make sure not to use my stamina right now. So I'm going to drive very, very slowly. And then get you guys back if something interesting happens. Because I need to be able to... Oh, that seems to be an ally. I need to be able to just sprint if something starts shooting at us. Okay, please tell me that's the trader that I think it is. This town looks very small, though. Actually, I think over here is another city somewhere, but I'm, I'm looking for the road for it. Uh, instead of actually taking... Oh, instead of taking that road over here, I, I was like, okay, let me just try this one because I see the tower in the background. Please tell me this is a special trader. If there's three or four traders over here, it might really be worth actually living here. Is it? It's, it's, it's the custom uh, POI that I've been looking for, right? Yes, it is. Okay, see. Class store, it's called. We do that. There's one, two, three traders, and instead of two traders being over here, there's now the, just the vending machines. Come on. Technically, you should never take this dude inside because it can actually bug out. It's happened in the past before where we have lost NPCs because they get bug out, uh, bugged out inside the store. Okay, so yes, that is awesome. There's also working forges and stuff over here. So I wonder, do I have everything on me? I have cash. I'm actually thinking of buying forged iron. We have mechanical parts. I'm thinking of buying forged iron, then I can just make my lockpicks over here. 
If I can get lucky and perhaps from one of these class machines buy a lockpick, that would also be awesome. Yeah, I need to make my own workbench as well. If we live over here, I just want to see exactly where on the map this is. But if we come and live over here, then I can just... I don't need a workbench right now. Because we can just use the trader's workbench. Come on, lockpicks, lockpicks, lockpicks. I definitely need the cobble. At least there's only like 100 for all of that cobble. Construction and design is the one we really, really need right now. More cobble. Construction and design. Yes, 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 yes. Tungsten auger, 2.4. And that's tungsten. Although to repair that, I think it's going to be a little bit tough. Just a teeny tiny little bit. Okay, I need more cobble from these. I wonder if they all just have this little bit of a uh, storage over here. Or inventory, I mean. Oh no, okay, that was just him. Damn, I'm so glad I got the mining helmets. 539 for a helmet light mod, and then for the hel mining helmet with the lights on, 11.3. That's too expensive. I'm, I'm so glad I found the other gen as well. Okay, now we just need lockpicks. If I can buy some forged iron over here, I can actually make my own lockpicks, but I'm only seeing forged steel. Construction design, cooking pots, more Molotovs. Uh, we shouldn't spend the cash right now. I need to get some more forged iron. If we can get all of those lockpicks, we can go back to all the gens and loot them on the way back. But I definitely want to come live over here then. There's a gen over there. That's our base over there. So it's basically on the corner. It's like a small Tetris shape that the, uh, the forest is over here. So there should be another city over here. There should be another city over here. And I think there's like there's a transfer with like two or three in the forest. Oops, where am I going? Where am I now? It's close enough to our starting town, so it's not too far that we have to travel. There's a trader there that we can actually go and loot. And then this one on the way back to our base, we can just really go and wrench or, or lockpick all that stuff. And then we can also go to the stupa saw and our last uh, ones over there to lockpick further. Let us speak, survivor. Yeah, spider, I hear you. Construction and design. Nice. We need those to be able to make our own cobble blocks. And it's the first time that I've actually seen the trader sell this many of them in one go. Is there really no forged iron over here? Or am I just blind? It's been a real pleasure. It's been a real pleasure. Okay, let me just see if I can't get some forged iron over here. If we can get some, it's going to be a really easy way to just quickly make ourselves some lockpicks. Although, as it seems, it seems we're going to have to go to the forge over here and make our own. Oh. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. In front of the door again, please. At least they shouldn't be able to destroy the trader, right? Because it's claimed. If I'm not mistaken. Forged iron. Forged iron. Forged iron. Please tell me I missed it. We can just put some iron and clay and stuff inside the forge over here and then make our own. But that's going to take a while. Forge tungsten, forge rebar, concrete. Nope. Okay, so unfortunately we are going to have to make our own con uh, forged iron over here. But at least then we'll be able to go and make ourselves some stuff. So this one over here. Make forged iron. We don't need like an anvil or something, right? Okay, fuel. This is like Darkest Falls where you now out of the inventory. You don't smelt anything in. I need three lockpicks. What do I need? More iron and stuff. Okay, can I scrap some of this? I know we might have been able to use some of those, but at the same time... Oh, what I could buy is iron. That's oh, if they actually sell some iron over here. It's gonna suck if they actually manage to break down the door over here. Is that a wandering horde right now? Why is it so noisy outside? Uh, this seems like a wandering horde. Come on, move up, move up, move up, move up. There you go. I'm gonna have to pick him up and put him back down again because he's bugged again. Every time he bugs out, I have to pick him up and put him down again. Unfortunately. There's nothing over here I can actually scrap to get more iron, right? Sharp sticks I definitely need for myself. Ooh, nitrogen goggles. That might be worth it. This is definitely a wandering horde, I think. Ooh, hello, you freak. Come on. Hello, you freak. Freak of nature. Oh, no, 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 no. Why did I reload just now? I don't know which one's his head. That one or that one? 
Oh, that one. That one was his head. You think it's a top body shooting at that, and meanwhile it's the other. Oh, there's another one. You're supposed to shoot to the right, not the left of here. That is creepy as hell. Oh, there's another normal spider. Okay, at least we leveled up some. But damn, that one is terrifying. Okay, can I make trouble now? How far am I away? Oh, it's still locked. Well, at least we have almost 15 out of 15 of here. That's awesome. So I can at least make the cooler for the food now. Huh? I thought I might have accidentally blocked him in again like the other dude. Okay, we'd have to see how big this town is, whether it's going to be worth coming here or not. Forged iron, only four. It's worth it, though. I need to make sure that we actually have those um, block picks. Even with just four, I can actually go to the stupid store, and I can go to the gun store and at least quickly open those up. As long as they're not bugged out somehow. Okay, and then we have to use this one to make the lock picks. Lock picks. Wait, what do I need to make them? Lock picks? Wait, can you not make them? Lock pick. I must be able to make them, but for some reason I'm not seeing the recipe over here. That is weird. You unlock the lockpick recipe, right? This is supposed to be... Oh, no, that's just building. Okay, let's just quickly say lock... I think it's two words. I can't remember if it's one word or two words. I just want to do this. See over here if I can see something. Doesn't seem like it. This one. Screwdriver, sprint, sprain, spear... Wait, you should be able to make lockpicks if I'm not mistaken. Or can you only find them and only buy them? If that's the case, this is going to make it way harder. You're supposed to be able to make them, I think. Damn, that dog is going bow, bow in the background. Come on. Oh, can you only... Uh, do you need the, the class vending machines to be able to make them? If that's the case, that's going to suck. That's going to take forever. I mean, at least now we have three traders over here. So if we live here, it's going to be easier getting stuff from them. Instead of going to three different traders, you can just stick to the one. So getting quests done, getting resources, all the stuff, that's going to be easy. But at the same time, I can't believe that there's no lockpicks over here. There has to be, and I'm just missing it, I think. Recipes, buckets, flashlights. I should have probably done that from the start. Just check the recipe for the forged iron. Little handle, workbench, lockpicks. There you go. Resources. I was about to say, what the hell? Okay, so unfortunately... Damn. We need five more of these books. Resourcefulness. If I can get lucky and get those books, perhaps. Full digest. Forged ahead. I just need five resourcefulness books, and then we should be able to unlock the lockpicks. If I can make the lockpicks, we're going to be able to go to Jen and get all of her stuff as well. Resourcefulness. Forge ahead. Nope. I definitely think we are supposed to come and live over here. I think it's going to be way, way, way better. And I don't think any of these have the resourcefulness, unfortunately. We just keep looking. If we can get a bookstore or something, that's all we need. How goes it? How goes it? It goes well. You resourcefulness. Now. Take your time. Uh, inventory. Resourcefulness. Nope. Ooh, if I see the bonus You're ones, I should probably get them, right? Resourceful. Okay, you don't have any books. You have lockpicks, though. How did I not see this earlier? Uh, I can sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. We should be able to buy them now. 1.4, almost there. Okay, at least we bought the lockpicks now, but I could have sworn we can make them already. Pleasure doing business with you. I wanted to check something over here, though. These bonus magazines. I uh, saw something bonus. Was it just my imagination? There are bonus magazines that you're supposed Maybe to get to be able to get these crafting books more. Travels, so if you go over here, the, no, not these ones, these are perk books. These crafting books, you can get more of them if you get these magazines over here. They give you like a massive boost to be able to find these. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I think for the rest of the night, I should probably just drive around, or I could just make some chests over here. I want to go see how big this town is, because this is really worth it. If we can live here, it's a little bit more difficult, even if the town's small, we have this trader, and when we have a proper vehicle, we can just drive around a bit. But we have to go back to this chain, we have to go to this chain, we have to go get our stuff. Um, 
I think we have to go to that gen, come back and drop stuff off. Go to that gen, go to our stuff, come back. But we might not have enough space at all. Yeah, I'm just going to drive around town a bit, see what we can actually find, can't find, all that stuff. Uh, I need to make chess quickly. Just let me can't play stuff inside the trader. Yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like it with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback, leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more War of the Walkers fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, consider becoming a Patreon. The link is in the description down below.